Hey guys and welcome to another feature video. Today I want to show you the East node and the East Morph node and I want to show you two new splines that we added to the animation editor. Basically our East node will work just the same way like any other Math Effects node of ours. So basically we have two targets, uh, target 1 and 2 and as soon as you change one of the targets or change the uh, use target 2 boolean it will generate values between the two targets until the new one is reached. So as you can see down here it will always output a value and when we for example click on use target 2 it will generate values until it reached the new target. What's new about the ease node is that it has several functions that describe the way that the values are generated. So basically you will have the same properties like in any other math effects node except for the enumeration that will choose the function that you want to use. So we have a linear function and sine functions, quadratic functions or cubic functions and so on as you, as you may know them. But the more interesting functions are the bounce function, the elastic function and the back function that I want to show you further. So first let's change the duration to 3 seconds so that we can see a little more and bind the whole to a position of our axis node in here. So as soon as we change the use touch 2 boolean you can see that the cube will bounce up and down when we use the elastic function that is chosen by default. So next let's look at the back function. When we use this one the cube will just drive out the screen and uh, come back again in. And the bounce function is a little bit different. It will look like the cube is bouncing onto the ceiling or the floor when we use the Y position of a cube. The last thing about the ease node is the mode that the function will be uh, created. So when we for example take the elastic function again and change the mode from out which is default to for example in, the whole function will be <coughs> mirrored. So we have mixed modes as well, in, out and out, in. And as you can see they will behave, behave just like you expect them to. Some of the functions have additional parameters that will appear in the property window as soon as you choose them. So our elastic function will have two more parameters, the oscillations and the springiness. This is just the amount of oscillations that we want to create while the values are generated. And the springiness is the amount of offspring when the value will oscillate around the new target. So the other new node is the ease morph node. It will just work the same like the ease node with the only difference that you can change a boolean whether to choose the first target or the second. Instead you will have a morph value that you can change. And so you have full control about the curve of your function and you can exactly know which value you want to choose when you know the morph value of it. If you want to use an, a bounce function or an elastic function in your keyframe animations you can do so as well by now. And when we change to the spline editor you can choose one of the splines, for example this one, and you can change it to for example the elastic spline and change its parameters as well as in the ease nodes. The other function that you can use in the animation editor is the bounce function and you can change it of course as well, just the same way. So it is much easier now to add some bounce or elastic effects in your keyframe animations. This is it about the ease node. Um, I hope you learned a lot about how to use it and how to make your keyframe animations a little bit more efficient and I hope I will see you in our next video. Until then, bye!